I'm Michael Dreikhorn, and I approve of this message. We need to have a concurrency plan that ensures our infrastructure is consistent with the path of growth, the rate of growth, and that we have a way to fund it and that we do it the right way. And it's not just roadways. It's our sewer systems. You know, Pine Island is 50% on, on county, sep- or county sewer. The other half is on septic. And that's a bit of a challenge when we talk about blue-green algae and we talk about the footprint that we contribute locally. Now remember, this is a county position. This is a county-focused count, county commissioner role. We need to think locally on what we can do. So adv- being an advocate at the national and state level is important, but we also have to think about what we can do locally. I think sewer is a very significant thing that we have to think about in the county. We also have to think about what we can do as far as mediation of what we're contributing today in our sewer water. Fort Myers, how many know how much water comes down to close edge each day? 300,000 gallons. About 200 million gallons of water a day. How many gallons of water does Fort Myers utilities put in treated sewer water, except for yeah, sewer water, back in to the Caloosahatchee every day? 20 million gallons of water is treated, but it's high in nutrients, high in phosphates. So it's contributing to the feed. Recently, Fort Myers and Cape Coral engaged in a contract that they will sell 7 million gallons of, of brown water, gray water, and it will be used for the canals, freshwater canals. That leaves a deficit of 13 million gallons of water that are still coming in. We need to figure out how we make that zero. Because it's just not right to be putting in high phosphate, high nutrient water into something that we're bellyaching about and that blue green algae and blaming it on everybody else downstream. Yes, there's a lot of blame you put around, but we have some of our own. Now, one of the things I've been doing as an advocate, in addition to all the other stuff that we're talking about doing it in, in Lake O, um, the C43, the, um, the, the deep mine injection, which I'm not really a big advocate of the deep, the deep well injections. Um, for aquifer reasons, but we need to think about the Caloosahatchee itself. Caloosahatchee is a racetrack from Lake O to the Gulf of Mexico. So why is it a racetrack? Because it's really not serving any military benefit or industrial benefit of, of being a waterway. It's a nice waterway for big yachts to go through to get to the other side of the coast. Why don't we think about decertifying and putting the oxbows back in? They did that in Kissimmee. They started doing that about 10 years ago at the Kissimmee with huge, phenomenal results, and, and it's creating a self-filtering um, process back into the river. Most of that would not be in Lee County, though. It would be in Henry County. But we need to be advocates for such talk, such thought, and put the other aspects of the plan together. That is a localized thing. So how do you do that? The Army Corps of Engineers already owns all the easement properties left and right of the, the river, and they can easily, without intimate, any intimate domain, make that happen. It's going to cost money. But where does the money come from? Well, how about the Everglades Restoration Act? So there's money to be had. We need to think out of the box and, and add to the plans that are already there, and we need to think locally.